Welcome. In front of me is a Xiaomi 11 Lite. And today I will show you how to bypass the Google verification on this device. Now, this only bypasses the specifically Google verification and not the Xiaomi one. These are different and Xiaomi has, or at least I don't have any way of bypassing the Xiaomi version of it. So if that is the way your device is locked, I'm sorry, this won't work. But anybody that has a Google one uh, should be just fine. So anyway, going back to this, you can see I do have a pattern set and also you can unlock it using Google account. And there is also this tiny little lock icon to signify that the device is indeed locked. So to get started with the bypass, you're gonna back out to the Wi-Fi connection page right over here. Let's give it a second. As you can see, I am connected and you want to do the same thing, uh, connect to some kind of Wi-Fi. And then from here, you wanna select see all Wi-Fi networks. Well, this actually looks a little bit different, so I'm going to back out once again. Because that's not how it's actually supposed to look like. Okay, there we go. That's how it's supposed to look like by default. So that's what you're looking for. And from here, you want to scroll down, select Add Network. And then in SSID, you will type in YouTube.com. There we go. Once you have typed it in, you want to hold it to select it, then let go, and you will see these options pop up. The second one, the chain link, that's what you want to press. This opens up YouTube, and in here you want to select account icon, then select open feedback. And in describe your issue, you will type in delete. Delete or disable apps on Android. As you can see, it comes up as a suggested. So you want to say, select that and then tap on the first step, tap to go to application settings, choose more, show system. And we're going to start off by turning off Android setup, disable, disable app, first stop, and OK, and go back. And now we're looking for the second Android setup right over here for stop and okay because this one is already disabled and then we're going to scroll down to google play services there we go google play services disable disable app for stop and okay and go back and scroll even further down to settings there we go. So there is the settings. As you can see, there's two of them. Make sure you pick this one. Select open. Then scroll down to additional settings, accessibility, accessibility menu, and toggle it on. Allow and OK. And once you have toggled it on, as you can see, there's a little icon right here. That's what you're looking for. So from here, we're going to back out. Back to the Wi-Fi connection page, like this. And then we're going to tap on the arrow to go further. Now, uh, this will result in you not getting anyway, anywhere. So that's what we're looking for. As you can see, it will start checking for updates, kind of glitch out and show you still showing uh, or checking for updates. So what we need to do now is tap on this little icon right here, select Google Assistant, and this will show settings not all the time, settings, which disappear after a moment. And you wanna click on those and it will open up the same page for Google Play services with the option in the middle right here for you to click on enable. So you want to enable this and there is a chance you might need to repeat this process several times because uh, settings doesn't always show up. And even when you click on it, sometimes it just doesn't react. And same goes for the next page. And Sometimes this won't react either. So it will close off after a brief moment and you will need to keep on trying again. I needed to try it like three times right now, uh, but in the previous, I think I'm, I had to do it like sometimes 20 times or more. So it really depends on how lucky you are. Uh, it seems like I was fairly lucky here. And there is no 
Uh, no rule to this, it's just kind of like random. So just keep on trying till you get it. Anyway, once you have chosen enable, you want to go back. And this will allow you to go further, as you can see. Now, one thing that I will mention while I am finishing up the setup is you want to not have any kind of SIM card in your device. If you do have a SIM card, do remove it. Otherwise, this will not work. I have tried it with a SIM card before, uh, or SD card, one of those. Or I just, I, I tried it with both of them actually, and uh, it made it so I couldn't finish it. For some reason, I would still get the pattern uh, verification page, which means that it didn't succeed. So if that is the case for you, maybe try to uh, reset your device again through recovery mode and remove those SIM cards, SD card, and then try fresh from the beginning like I did. And it looks like that way it should work without any kind of problem. Now additionally, uh, in a second you will see me access the home screen. The device is still technically locked, and I'll show you in a second once I have access to the home screen how to actually fully unlock it. So there is the home screen. Let's open up settings, select about phone, scroll down and choose factory reset, erase all data, and then factory reset again, and wait the 10 seconds here, and another 10 seconds on the next page. The reason why you want to do this is because performing a factory reset through settings will remove all the data from the device. Now, like I mentioned also at the beginning of the video, if your device is uh, locked through Xiaomi account, you will not be actually able to perform this. It will tell you to log into your Xiaomi account. That's why I said this only works for Google accounts. So once you press on OK, it will go through a factory reset of the device, removing the Google account that was previously used on this device, along with a pattern that was previously used on this device and blocking us from finishing up the setup and thus also fully unlocking that device. Now, I'm not going to be going uh, through a factory reset on the video just because it is a fully automated process and once it's finished, you are back in the setup screen with the device being fully unlocked so you can set it up however you like. So there is no information that this will provide you uh, past pressing that button. So that is how you bypass the Google verification on Xiaomi 11 Lite. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.